Do you want to meet everybody on the farm today? Yeah. Uh, Hi, I'm Robin. Welcome to Robin's Pygmies. And today we're gonna meet some characters on our farm. <laughs> and when I say characters, I mean characters because they all have some kind of personality. That's why I like them. So let's meet them. Uh, okay, here, this is Comet. Yep. He plays with anything and everything on the farm. Balls, frisbees, people, dishes, you name it. This is Halo. Hi Halo, say hi Halo. Halo takes care of the goats. Yep. This is Cedric. Say hi Cedric. He's a boy that lives kind of with the girls. Oh yeah, we know about you. This is Alice. Hi Alice. She says right now, I'd like to go visit the boys, but mom won't let me. <laughs> uh, I think the does are mostly outside. We're gonna clean the dough pen today. This is Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Resting? I'm just resting. Yeah. She's a spinster. Oh, she's one of our spinster ladies. Who do we got under there? Oh, hello, Isis. Yeah, she's, she's one of our uh, great, 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 great grandmothers of the herd. Yeah, I, th I think all the rest of the mamas are... At oh, no, we got one more back there. That's Koki. Koki is Isis's daughter, who we just met a second ago. Hi, Koki. She has a sister somewhere outside. Well, I guess that's for the do all the does that are in here right now. We're going to clean this mess up today. Oh, wait, we got one more girl. One of our special elderly girls. This is Luna. She's she's our elderly girl on the farm. He is hi Luna. She's special. She stays back here because the other girls torment her. She's elderly and could get hurt easily. And this is one of our breeding bucks, Joe. Hi Joe. He's got a lot of character. He likes to breed anything and everything. Like that ball back there. His bowl, his bowl, which we call bullicious. Yep, that's that's Joe. This is Dad, and this is actually K his name is Chaos. And someone once told me that careful what you name your box because they become something of a socialite of their name. Yes, and he's a stinky, stinky boy right now. Ooh, I can smell him clear over here. I'm not touching you. No way. He's a daddy of a few girls on the farm. He's a three-time grand champion. One ribbon away from having a permanent on his title. This is his brother. Cronus. Hi, Cronus. Yes. You have a ribbon, don't you? Yes, I do. But then you took all my breeding privileges away from me. <laughs> we did do that. That's all right. You're a nice boy. He's your pretty boy. Yes. We keep him around for entertainment. And then we come over here. Those are all our breeding bucks. Then we come over here, and this is our weather pin. These are castrated males. Castrated male cannot breed. So they lose all that long hair, and they don't smell or urinate on themselves, which is a nice feature. We like that feature with the, about our boys. Yes. This is Ra. Hi, Ra. He's the one that has seizures. 
He is such a sweet boy, aren't you? This is Orion. Hi, Orion. He has five titles. And then we have Apollo. Hey, Apollo has seven titles. Oh, pretty boy. All these boys are retired from the show ring. They no longer go in the show. Yes, we just hang out on the farm and be friendly, huh? Yeah. Playful. Playful boys. You got your pen cleaned yesterday, huh? Oh, yes, we did. Yes. So that's all the weathers we have on the farm. Oh, well, apparently I didn't have the camera on, but we're going to introduce you to the girls in the pasture. Girls, where are you going? <laughs> I can't introduce you if you're running off. Oh, my goodness. My babies. Smokey. Come here. So this is, this is Mocha. Now she is Cokie's sister. She looks exactly like her, only Mokey has a stripe on her side. So you can tell them apart. There's her sister, Cokie. And now the girl on the right here, rubbing her head up against the tree, that's MJ, Mary Jane. And the girl on the left there is Cokie, that's her mama. That's Mary Jane. We sold and then she came back to our farm. She's a great kid. She's another spinster. No babies on the ground. And the little girl, I believe this is, yeah, this girl, these two girls right here are sisters. This one right here, this is the one with the big white on her head. This is Frappy, and this is her sister, Bolate. Whoop, there she goes, that's Bolate. Say hi, Bolate. Hopefully, Bolate is bred to our buck in the barn, Chaos. So hopefully she will be having babies in May. Gestation is five months, or about 445 days for a pygmy goat. So we're hoping that she's gonna have babies. I haven't seen her come back in heat, so We're hoping for May babies out of her. She's a beautiful goat. Gorgeous. And Frappy here is her sister. And she's the sweetest goat, one of the sweetest goats we have on the farm. Hi, Sam. The two little... <laughs> I love to watch them run. It's <laughs> cracking me up. Oh my goodness. And they play. And the sun comes out. See, I know a lot of people say, God, how do you tell them apart? Oh, you can. They all have unique personalities. Every single one of them. Now this little girl right here. One right in front of me here. Going up and down here. That little girl right there, that's Little Bull. And oh my gosh, she has such an, oh, an incredible personality. I just love her. She went into the barn. I have to chase her. Now this girl here with the beard, that is Frappy and Bolate's mother. I call her Lovey. This is Lovey. Another beautiful, beautiful goat. You can see the resemblance. I can. I don't know if most people, they say I can't tell the difference. But, oh, sure you can. You, you really actually can if you stand them side by side and look at them. Especially her little girl, Frappy. They are just, like, identical. This one right here is her daughter. They look practically identical and if Frappy grows a beard eventually like her mama which I think I'm 
I think she's going to. They are going to be so hard to tell apart when she's full grown. This one, when she's full grown, she's going to, they're just going to be so exact because they have the same knot on their head. I'm, I'm going to have a hard time telling them apart. <laughs> and I raised them. So, yeah, it's going to be really difficult. So, okay, now this is Jimmy. or I call her Jimmy, but this is her name is Cece's Jim. But I call her Jim, or Jimmy. And she is the mother, too. <laughs> Yes, you. <laughs> this is Little Bull. This is the one I was telling you that is full of life. And all she wants is attention. Most goats, they just want food. They want their grain. But this little girl, she's my little bull. She's just full of sweetness. She's tiny and just full of love. She's not, she's not what you call show quality which I usually breed for show quality, but her sister is. But this little girl here, I've just fallen so in love with her, and so is my husband. She's just the, <laughs> the sweetest little thing. And we call her Little Bull because um, she reminds us of my very first goat, Winnie. <laughs> yes, you are. You're just so full of love. Yes, you are. She'll sit there and talk to you until you pet her. And she's, she even has little skirts. She was sick when she was born. And we didn't think she was going to make it. But now she's just vigorous and full of life. And... That's why she has scurs, because I had to disbud her a little bit late. And, uh, so I wasn't going to take any chances with her. <laughs> but that's okay, I don't mind. She's not going to go to the show ring anyway, so that's quite alright. Now where'd your sister go? Oh, there she is. Now this little girl, this is Lita. This is Little Bull's sister. Hi, Lita also just as sweet but now she looks a lot like her mother but she's actually very much show quality and she will go into the show ring and she's very sweet too they're both very sweet little girls just love 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 them they are just adorable Yes, you are, aren't you, huh? Yes. Mama loves you very, very much. They just want love all the time. Don't you? <laughs> so you've met all my goats. Yep. I see you. Are you up on my leg? <laughs> so that's it. That's all my goats. You've met them all, I think, except one, and he's handicapped, and he just lays in the back. But, uh, yep, that's it. All my animals. You didn't meet my chickens. I have six chickens, and right now they're not really producing eggs because of the time of year, but that's okay. <laughs> Lita. And I don't know if you really know, so hi Jimmy. But uh, I don't raise my goats for really much else than I show them a couple of times a year. I do that because I really love being around my goat friends. But as far as, you know, really striving to have a lot of ribbons on my wall, I mean, it's, I get really super excited to have ribbons on my wall, but more or less, I raise them because I love them. And yeah, they're a lot of a lot of work. But I don't raise them to produce milk, obviously, because I raise pygmy goats, not Nigerian dwarfs. They're a miniature breed. 
and you don't have to milk these guys. Yeah, they're just fun backyard pets. And they're just so sweet. So, so sweet, aren't you? Yes. Backyard therapist. Yeah. They're just my backyard therapist. And people say, do you have them to cut down on your your blackberries? No. No, I don't. No. No, I have them and I clean up after them. <laughs> I have them because they're just sweet. Yeah. Yes, I love you. Yes, because I love you. Okay, that's it. That's all it is. Just fun, loving, beautiful little creatures that anybody could have in their backyard. And I mean, don't get them because you think they're going to cut down on your weeds or uh, your brambles or you're going to tie them up in your backyard. I wouldn't do that. I'd get them because you love them and you want them for pets because that's what they are. They're pets. Are you a pet? Huh? What are you? Are you a pet? Huh? Is that you? Can you see you? Lita, can you see you? Yeah, it's you, my baby. Are you my baby? <laughs>